another episode of these views here on Castnet with head coach Fred Harbinson. Showcase came around again this year, and it's another two wins for the hockey team. Uh, Ten and zero at this event in five seasons. We talked about this a lot. You say it's not different than anything else, but there's challenges, especially with the scheduling of the showcase. You must have been happy how your team responded to, with the two wins over Langley and Prince George. Oh, no question. I mean, they heard both, uh, you know, difficult games to go through. Uh, you know, you have a 10 a.m. start uh, the first day and then a pretty quick turnaround the next uh, at the 4 o'clock. But, uh, you know, I think, you know, one of the, everyone keeps asking about the showcase and, you know, we're 10-0 and 0 or whatever. But I think a lot, of, you have to give credit to our, you know, our equipment staff, our training staff. Uh, a lot of the teams, you, you know, they're scrambling around there and our guys are, are made to be real comfortable because of the, uh, the professionalism of, Obviously, uh, Kersey and uh, you know Brendan Kerr and, and Dan McDowell. So they got to take a lot of credit. Our guys are uh, ready to go come game time, and and uh, you know obviously two more wins were, was exciting for the guys. Busy week for the team. Obviously, the home opener is coming up this weekend. But first, uh, this afternoon is the V's uh, barbecue, the season ticket pickup party. Uh, a good time for the fans to meet the team ahead of a big weekend coming ahead. Yeah, you know a lot of the you know the the community events are great, and and for these uh, you know like for our ticket party, these are fans that are uh, you know really invested in the team you know they they spend a lot of their hard-earned money to to get season tickets and whatnot throughout the year and uh, so it's a great way for them to you know get to know who the new guys are without their uh, their helmets on and and get uh, close and personal and, and you know ask some questions and and it's great for our guys it's part of the mature maturation process for uh, for some of our young guys that are maybe quieter guys to, to you know interact with some uh, some of the fans that are trying to get to know them. It's a big weekend, a big one. A lot of people have circled the calendars Friday, obviously, in West Kelowna, first time since the playoffs last spring, and then your home opener the next night on Saturday against Trail. So it's an exciting weekend here as you wind down that seven-game gauntlet on the road. Yeah, well, the nice thing is our, our last uh, road game of the seven, as you mentioned, is in uh, a place that's only 45 minutes away, and it's easy to get up for when you, you have a you know a big di divisional battle there. But uh, then again, uh, making sure that our guys aren't looking past, uh, you know, just for the home opener. But I know everyone's excited about playing at home finally. And lastly, some depth added to the blue line. A trade earlier this week, he bringing in James Miller, someone we talked to today. Uh, how do you describe him for V's fans going forward here? Uh, very good feet, uh, you know, a heck of a shot. Uh, you know, still, you know, just kind of getting his feet wet here on how we want to play and uh, some of the structure. But once he gets, uh, you know, acclimated, he'll be great. And um, you know, it's just another situation where we have to, you know, make sure that we're covered depth-wise on the back end. Where at the end of last year, we ended up with, um, you know, basically five defensemen, and one of them was a forward. So we want to make sure that we're gauging against that happening again this year. First chance for the fans to see James Miller in the V's at home this Saturday in the home opener brought to you by Lennon Drugs against Trail. Chatting with newest Penticton V, James Miller, defenseman acquired earlier this week from the Old Grizzlies. First of all, James, a couple days in town so far. What are your early impressions of being a V? Uh, it's uh, it's def definitely different. Uh, they're a very, very intense program, but, but I love it here. The the coaching staff, the team, they... they uh, they ask for perfection, like, but obviously that's not possible, but they, they really do strive for it, and it's, it's definitely going to benefit me, and hopefully I can help benefit the team. Now, how do you describe yourself as a player? Uh, got the first couple games coming up this weekend in the home opener. Fans are watching. What should they expect from uh, James Miller? Uh, I think my speed plays a, plays a factor, and uh, I, I like to be in the offensive zone, but I'm not, uh, not afraid to play gritty. Uh, I definitely don't shy away from that stuff. I, I like... Uh, like to play tough. Excited for your first game coming up, first two games coming up this weekend. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. James Miller, newest Penticton V here on B's Views on castanet.net.